Hi, I'm Robert Venable. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to beef up your kick drum sound in Pro Tools using a 50 or 60 Hz tone triggered by the original kick drum. Here in Pro Tools I already have a track pulled up with a kick drum. It sounds alright, but maybe in a pop song or a rock song I'd want a little bit more um, sub lows to kind of punch in the mix and, and beef up that low end. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and create an auxiliary track. And let's name it sub kick. I'm going to go ahead and mute that. And on this track, let's insert a signal generator. You want to mute it first because as you can see it's already sending signal. If I unmute it, it'll be annoying. So uh, let's go ahead and change that down to 60 hertz. So right now it sounds like this. We're going to add a gate after that signal generator. Let's go ahead and uh, just put that up there somewhere. Now what you want to do is send your kick to a bus, bus 1 in this case. I always send it at uh, nominal level 0 and uh, send it pre-fader. So that way we can mute the original kick track and still hear the sub kick. And uh, on the key input on the gate, you're going to accept bus 1, the same bus that you sent the kick track to. So now this signal tone is only going to sound when the kick drum passes that gate threshold. So we can unmute this sub kick track. Now you might not be able to hear much right now. Let's go ahead and set this tone up a little bit so you can this frequency up so you can hear what it's doing. Let's put it back down to 60. Now that's a bit extreme. Um, let's adjust this a little bit. Now you can adjust the release time to make it sound a little more exaggerated for a pop or dance track. Something like this. Now a lot of engineers will tend to tune the kick drum to the to the key of the song. So that's how I do it. And then you can blend it to taste. Again, mess with the threshold. Make sure you're not getting too much. And that's how you do it.